a little celebrity megastar and viral sensation, celebrity Christopher and Angelic Penelope Fountain, go around the band every nation. Today I have a special amazing dedication. I'm out here leaving Denver, Colorado. I was on my way to Steamboat, Colorado to deliver a shipment of beer. And I got stuck in traffic. I was told that I cannot make the delivery that they're going to be leaving at 3 o'clock. And they will not be able to unload me today. So instead of sitting in traffic or sitting at a company that cannot unload me, I decided to go and eat prime bread for lunch. It's only 1.47 p.m. out here. I went a little bit off route to a city called Black Hawk, Colorado. It's an amazing, wonderful, spectacular place over here. It's very beautiful. I love mountains like this. I would like to hike it someday, if I can. I would like to go camping, hiking, everything related to outdoors. Boating, kayaking, I don't know. The truth of the matter is, I'm here pulling into Black Hawk, Colorado to eat prime bread for lunch. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, these memories that are on this road for me were not only me alone, they were me and my angel, Angelic Penelope Fountain. You see, the last time I came out here to Black Hawk, Colorado, that angel was with me. And I'm not going to lie to you, everywhere I go in the country, the memories are just so severe for me. I remember the wonderful times that her and I had together. We were bonding all over the country. I mean, we had specific bonding days. A little girl, I bought her prime rib from the same area in Blackhawk the last time her and I were out here apart. I'm not going to lie to you, I am very happy to be back here, but to be honest with you, not without the girl, which obviously I can no longer ever bring her with me in. This is kind of a happy moment, but to be honest with you, it's very sad as well. As I climb up these mountains that are over thousands and thousands of feet high in the sky, you can see that I'm climbing straight up as if I'm climbing up a ladder. The approximate speed that I'm going is 26 miles per hour, just so I can eat my bread. I'm sick and tired of not making any money, any money in the trucking industry. I'm sorry, I am tired of not making a good living like I used to. I don't know if education is going to bring me back into college. But it very well me, because I'm not happy. Obviously, I'm bearing off out to go to Blackhawk, Colorado, just so I can eat prime rep for lunch. And with that being what it is, obviously, I'm not making any money today being out here on the road. So that's why people quit the trucking industry. And my dispatcher, I'm not going to say anything bad about him at all. Other than everything was great for the last month, a bit over a month, and now everything is just so difficult. We're in a brand new truck here. I am. It's not mine. It's my company's. But how can they be making very little money with a hundred and fifty thousand dollar rig? Not to mention the trailer cost. The way the shipping industry or the trucking industry became. I'm not lying to you, it's no surprise why truck drivers quit. It's no surprise why dispatchers get into different lines of work. And brokers, when they have been calling me recently, this is the funniest part of this video. These young fucking punks think they're going to get me to run ragged all over the fucking highway and break every DOT law in the book. And I can't stress out enough to these stupid, sorry son of a bitches. But look, I'm a truck driver. You're sitting in an office, looking at a computer screen. It don't matter how much the shipment costs, my life is worth more than any of your shipments. Now, if I end up upside down over a canyon, the shipment will not be delivered anyway, so let's face facts. Obviously, me going into Black Hawk, Colorado right now, I won't be able to make it to this delivery that's paying nothing at all to begin with. Till tomorrow at 8 o'clock. To me, it's not worth it. But okay, the scenery, it may be worth it. The scenery. Sometimes I feel that the industry just collapsed so badly that auto autonomous trucks 
maybe in the near future, if a trucking company can even get through this recession and earn enough money to buy them. Because as long as we are human beings, we have to have marketable skills. And if we are selling ourselves short, not making any money to do the work that we do, well then we're working for peanuts. And I don't want to cheat the legal workers to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. I'm going to end probably quitting this company. Maybe, maybe not. But to be honest with you, why not enjoy my time off until tomorrow on Black Hawk, Colorado? Why wouldn't I? You know what I'm saying? Celebrity Christopher and Angelic Penelope Fountain, internet megastar and viral sensation, own around the globe and Black Hawk, Colorado in this nation. Thank you for watching this special presentation of the failing trucking industry creating truck drivers to panic by not making money that they need to and veer off route to go to Black Hawk, Colorado, which is a spectacular place, by the way. But most importantly, it would be depressing to me as well as you if you did not know what is actually in Black Hawk, Colorado to make me veer off route to get here. The answer is casinos. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, every time I come here, I bang up real good. Maybe today is just another day. Thank you for watching this presentation of the trucking industry creating gamblers. Oh yeah, one more thing, ATS trucking. Don't call me anymore, I don't want to work for you. <laughs> I became a gambler because of trucking companies like you. Thank you for watching. My phone number is 954-309-1810. When I get done with this phone, I'll sell it to someone at very low cost. That way they have communication. So make sure you contact me immediately if you want to reach the real celebrity. Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Blackhawk, Colorado.